And we're really bringing you gems from around the world, but I really love this show specifically. It's Chaco Canyon. Why? Because these gems are mined right here in the United States, and every single item, and I'll be honest with you, I always get little chill bumps about it, are created by just beautiful Native American craftspeople. Um, we are so excited about the next two hours. We have some of the most beautiful items that have been brought back, some favorites that sold out. Jennifer Wan's joining me. She's from, from the San Carlo Apache tribe, and we're thrilled always to have her here. She's gonna share the stories about the artisans who create these pieces. And what I really love about the show is, yes, you're gonna get gorgeous jewelry. Yes, they're amazing. Look at this cuff, it's like crazy great. My earrings, we have so many good earrings coming up. All of it's beautiful, but you're supporting what I think is so important, and that is artisans that live right here in the United States that are so skilled at what they do. And because what we enjoy and wear, we're supporting them and we're supporting family members and generations. So it's more than just getting a great pair of earrings, girls. It's just a whole deeper story than just that. And you'll experience that in the next two hours. Let me give you a peek at what's coming up in our show. Me and Jennifer are so pumped about this. Which one do you want to do first, guys? The stamped cuff? All right, here we go. Here is the stunning cuff. And you're going to see lots of different options. This is, of course, our oval turquoise stamp statement cuff. We've got a great sale price. I really want you to focus on the pricing on this. Normally, it's $349.50. And look at all the sterling silver. I mean, that is just a beautiful cuff right? Tonight, it's $229.95, and everything in the next two hours, we have five flex pays on. You'll get this at home for $45.99. And please stay with me, because you'll actually hear all the stories behind each and every one of the craftsmen who create these pieces, the artisans who make them, and it's lovely to hear the stories. And then check out my ring. Okay, so here's my ring coming up. It's beautiful. Here's the story behind it. It's gotta be a good price, yeah, of course it is. Uh, we have a pear-shaped Kingman turquoise ring. The appraised value, almost 200, we're at 129. Today, we're 99.98, and we have five flex pays available on it too. Here's your sizing, five through 12. We have all the sizes available right now. I will not guarantee that's true at the end of our two hours, but right now, you're in really, really good shape, and that's such a good price. Also, I am 100% pumped about this. I love coil bracelets, and the reason is is because they're easy to wear, and they fit everybody. Everybody. And they're effortless. You just pop them on and out the door you go. They look great with cuffs, with watches, with sterling silver. Tell me the story behind this one because I know it's a biggie on our cuff too. This is the first time that we have had it back since May and it completely sold out. That's a really big deal, guys, and you can see why. It's just effortless. It's all genuine sleeping beauty. Let's have a moment right now on this one. That was my moment. It's Sleeping Beauty Turquoise. This is the most coveted, the bluest. It is the Rolls Royce of turquoise. And check it out for $114.98. That is incredible. And of course, we have five flex. So let's jump into it. I want to introduce you to Jennifer, who joins me. We're so excited to have you back. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, so I got to tell you, girl. Just the earrings alone in our two hours are drool worthy. We have, I think, some of the most beautiful earrings we've ever had in Chaco Canyon coming yes. up in our two hours, let yes. alone the cuffs and all I the know. extra pieces. <laughs> it's like one of those wow shows. You're like, oh my gosh. So let's start with the first one. You ready? Yes. All right, let's get going. So we got to jump right into it. By the way, if you want to ask Jennifer a question, it is really um, such an honor to have Jennifer with us. She's very familiar with the artisans. She's really well, uh, well read on all the history and the lore on Native American crafts and some of the symbolism, and you'll learn all that. But because I am on right here, you can go online right now and you can ask her a question if you'd like to. And we're going to start off with this. How sweet is this ring? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this ring. So tell us a little bit about this little puffy heart. Uh, this is made by Cal Kelly Estiwa. He's from the Zuni tribe of New Mexico. And uh, he says he can make about 40 rings a week. And these How are many? 40. <laughs> oh my goodness. And these wow. are exclusive just for HSN. So when you look at this, you can tell that he's just a wonderful designer. And uh, when he makes these rings, he makes Makes it especially just for HSN. So you have that uh, heart uh, inspiration that you see right there. Oh, I love it. I love how it's puffed, but it's also an inlay. Yes. Describe how difficult that is because we're curved, we're working on a heart shape. It's just, just like an oval cabochon that you plop in there. <laughs> no, when you look at this, it's very, it's a very complicated puzzle piece because if you just so happen to pop the silver lining in the middle of the heart, then basically the whole thing will just come apart. And it, it's very time consuming. It doesn't look like it, but it is. And so for the Zuni people, they're known for their inlaid work, especially for the needlepoint design. 
I love it too, and I love inlay. And a lot of times you see inlay, you'll see little teeny chips, they put it together, or little, uh, I think it's easier to do inlay, even though it's really difficult to do, <laughs> when it's a, just a rectangle, yes. or it's a square. But when you add the curve of the cabochon, and then you've got the curve of the heart and the angle of the V, this becomes actually, it looks like a simple ring, but it's actually a really, really difficult piece to put together. And if you really love inlay, I'm gonna slide the moon in. Is this from the same artist? I do, do you know? believe it is the, yeah. the same artist. Because you can kind of tell the look of it. But look at how great. If you love this beautiful heart inlay, he also created these inlay moon earrings that are available. They're actually coming up next. So we'll talk about them a bit more. Here are your sizes, guys, 5 through 12. It's one of the most affordable pieces in the show. I also think, Jennifer, like, gang, let me show you something. Like, this is me. <laughs> This might be you. <laughs> I tend to be a big ring girl. You know, I'm like, go on, big, go big. Go. Look, and she's got like 12 <laughs> rings on. So needless to say, I do. I love turquoise. This is my kind of ring. And yes, it's coming up. And yes, it's a brand new collection. And yes, it's drool worthy. But a lot of times during the day, a lot of times for your lifestyle, if you're a teacher, if you're a nurse, if you're wearing gloves, think about having to wear gloves in the wintertime. This isn't always us. Some days we're this. And I, it's lovely to have just that sweet touch of turquoise on your finger. It's great to take this and take it back to my baby cuff coming up. I love this. I love that coil. But look what you can build. Now, the other day I was on the air and I was doing just a regular show, not a jewelry show. And I was in a turquoise mood. And I just <laughs> loaded it up and I had my big old turquoise necklace and a bracelet and I had a ring on. And you realize when you put turquoise on that it certainly, it, to me, it has a real sense about it, like almost a feeling about it. How would you describe that? For me, I've said this before, because uh, coming from the Southwest, you wear a lot of turquoise, and it's basically, that's like our diamond out that way. And so when you wear turquoise, also you have that uh, sense of connection to other people who uh, like to, to look at you, and just sometimes they're amazed by the color of the turquoise, or either the, uh, the way the jewelry's made, you know, they're like moths to a flame, they'll come to you, they'll touch your hand or your yeah. ears. Yeah. Just things like that. I've had people come and do that to me, and just, just to have me tell my story of how I gotten my jewelry and just to hear them the same way right it's very interesting right yeah. and it's interesting because and I'm sure people naturally share their stories with you yes and I will share mine of how I was first introduced <laughs> to Native American jewelry because I was a wee little girl when it happened all right we're going to switch on to the earrings so these are awesome I love them because both of these pieces have such poppy personality you know they're a little bit more petite they're not some of the biggest pieces we've ever offered but they're some of the most affordable we're offering and we got to go in really really tight and I'll actually get my hand out of the Way because I want you guys to see how cool the sterling silver is and how they use that in that setting. So can you walk us through this one, Jennifer? Yes, um, the artist in here again, his name is Cal Kelly Yostiwa. And so the inspiration here is the moon. And um, when you look at this, you're gonna see Again, the, the silver that is, you know, kind of shooting back and forth right there. Yeah. Basically, that's the lifeline. Just like the heart, that's the lifeline, and it connects to your whole body. And so they say for the moon, they say that she's a female. And so at night, I've told, <laughs> I've told, I've told stories of uh, the moon before to uh, different friends who aren't from the, the U.S. And I used to say, you know, during our ceremonies, you're not supposed to look at the moon at night. And I say, why? Because they, because I said, you know, the uh, elder people say that, that she's a beautiful woman and that you like to stare at her at night and the longer you stare at her it, uh, the, the more she'll take your beauty away and she'll steal your youth and so they're like oh no I'm not gonna go sit outside no more but <laughs> so oh, darn so yes. much for admiring the moon yeah. oh and I liked her so much yeah. <laughs> who knew oh. but a couple of minutes on this too by the way guys a little heads up if you're thinking about the coil bracelet that's a reorder sold out the last time it was on the air already really really popular from that little quick preview just gonna give you heads up on this. Let's talk a little bit about the, the Zunis and where they focus their artistry on. What are they known best for? They're known best for their uh, inlaid designs, their uh, pottery, for their rugs. And um, so uh, what, uh, we've, what we've been doing for the last year or two is that we've gone out to the reservation and um, just kind of looking at the artists and see what type of jewelry that they're making these days. And so the new artisans that we come in and con contact with, we like to bring uh, a, a lot of their pieces to HSN just to showcase their jewelry. Yeah, and what I also love is many of them watch. So hi, everyone is watching. Uh, but I 
love the fact that even you can see in the video and the pictures you share with us, they take such great pride in <laughs> what they do, you know, and, and rightfully so. It's such a beautiful form of artistry and artwork. Yes, and just to sit there and watch an artist, you know, make something out of, you know, what came out from Mother Earth is just amazing. Yeah, it really is, isn't it? Yes. All right, guys, so let me show you this. Woo. Now, you guys are asking. I get it, I'm just like you. I'm like, bring the big stuff. Uh, and again, I do. Many of my days are spent going to the groceries and doing laundry and kind of boring stuff. So that's some days. Most days though, when I really want to bring it, this is what I love. Now here's the story. This is brand new today. It's a brand new collection, by the way. It's not the sole piece in this collection. So imagine the rest of the pieces. I have all sizes five through 12 because it's brand new. The key to this is the last, it's already last call on size 12. And it's funny because I went online and I can see what people have been shopping for before I go on the air. Oh yeah, you were loving this already. I noted, so noted. And it's got gemstones. So we mix that beautiful turquoise and a huge piece of cabochon with genuine gemstones. And we're talking about lots of carrots here for just a magnificent ring, girls. Now, let's just take a moment to look at 149.98. Just take one second right now. That is unbelievable. If you were to go to Taos or you go anywhere out in New Mexico or Albuquerque, Kirky. Not even 280 does it justice. I mean, that is an, an unbelievable price for a great ring. Be the first to grab it, though, before it's gone. Already size 12 is the most limited. All right, we're moving on. We got a lot more to get to. We have lots of things that you guys haven't seen in a while and we brought back. And I was telling Jennifer this, and this is one of those, actually. I was telling Jennifer... I said, oh my gosh, we have so many reordered items and I hadn't seen that in so long because normally, Jen, when you're here, we'll do an item and then they're moving on. They're working on new items. So for us to get what's called a reorder on a very successful piece is highly unusual. This is called the slab and it's a perfect name for it. Uh, first time back, it's sold out in March. We have five flex pays, by the way, on everything in our two hours, okay? And buy more and save. I'll talk about that a little bit later. The drop on this is three quarters of an inch by almost two inches wide. That's a huge piece of turquoise. We have two options in the necklace and because you tricky little gals go online and you buy things out and sell them out early, I only have one option left on the earring. So in the necklace, here we go, you're going to do either your Kingman or your, or excuse me, your ceremonial turquoise or your Kingman, which is the bluer of the two. And then I have in the ceremonial with the garnet accents, I have the slab earrings and those are also what I'm wearing. So kind of walk us through this. There's something to me so organic about just that beautiful piece of turquoise. If you look at these and pictures of uh, uh, natives a long time ago, uh, you, you're gonna see that this type of design was uh, made back then. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you have gone to different excavation sites throughout the Southwest, you'll see that the elder jewelry, jewelry pieces were turquoise, uh, bone, sinew, and feather. Really? And so, uh, also shell. And so with pieces like this, these are more or less updated versions, And but the big slab turquoise that you see there are very much a uh, throwback to ceremonial pieces of jewelry. And how difficult is it to do just one big slab? Let's talk about that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, let's take a moment on how to get a real big piece of turquoise out of it. There are some it. pictures that are, we, we should have them later on, but um, I've gone out to, the, uh, to Chaco Canyon and you'll see me with a bucket there of pieces, big chunks of turquoise, and I'm just like, oh my God. But um, I, one of the artisans there had grabbed a piece of uh, turquoise. He had ma made a drawing, but you have to get so much uh, pieces, you know, throughout the, the whole slab just to make, uh, you know, several pieces of jewelry. Right, mm -hmm. very few. Yes. And uh, typically, I'll tell you, and we're gonna move on to the earrings. This is why I believe these sold out so quickly. It is very expensive to use this much turquoise in one piece because it's so, you can go so much more with more silver, chunk this up in about four pieces mm -hmm. and make a whole bunch more rings. So for them to make just a handful of truly these amazing slabs of turquoise, and it's a statement. It's almost like a stop sign. You really, uh, it looks gorgeous on you. It's just one of those beautiful, organic, unusual pieces that really fill a neckline. Just go for it while we have it available. Now, unfortunately, in the earring, I'm down to only one choice because you guys bought out the other choice. And what we have is that pretty ceremonial. Can you explain where the ceremonial turquoise comes from? The ceremonial turquoise comes from the Kingman Mine. And uh, a long time ago, there was a shaman had, that had gone out to the Kingman Mine. And um, so... What he had done was when he had gone to the mine was that he uh, had seen like a green 
a chunk of turquoise that was, you know, a deep evergreen green. And so that pond that was near the, the turquoise actually had a green hue to it, like an evergreen hue. So they had named it the Green Ceremonial Turquoise because when he looked at it, it looked like snakes slithering inside the turquoise. And so for the Navajo people, they say that the snakes are, uh, are an addition to their sacred ceremonies. So that's why they had named it the Ceremonial Turquoise. Oh really, no mm -hmm. kidding. And the difference is if you're talking about, they're both from the same mine, which yes. is interesting. They're both Kingman Turquoise. Yes. But that just shows you the variety you can find in one mine. Mm -hmm. So if you're ordering the Kingman in the necklace only, um, that's the bluer of the two. If you're ordering the Ceremonial, it's just a little bit lighter. And it really is, here's how many I've left. No, not a lot. Okay, so we have 260 left in the earrings. Can I can I find out which is the most limited of our two necklaces? I'm gonna guess the Kingman, actually. Yeah, we're gonna grab that for you guys, too, because I just don't want you to miss out. Please remember, it's the first time back since it's sold out in March. So it's been several months, and I'm telling you, what a treat. Yeah, okay, so the Kingman, which is the bluer of the two in the necklace, I have only about 150 left, and then that's totally gone. Oh, gone, I'm sorry. On the necklace, your length is 19 inches, but I wanna show you, I know I'm going backwards a little bit, but hang with me. You can hook that up pretty much anywhere where you want. I love the chain on this, by the way. It's a series of um, um, kind of elongated ovals and circles. So if you need to make it much tighter, you can, but you do get 19, almost 20 inches in your full length on the necklace. And I'm sorry I didn't get to that a little earlier. It's really, do you want something that's unique and different? For me, when you talk turquoise, my favorite color to wear with it, I wore the other day, I was wearing almost a suede tan color. That's my favorite turquoise and tan <laughs> combination. But as we move into the browns and all those cinnamons in the fall and those beautiful burgundies and we get into the holiday season, your turquoise will just glow when you wear it with those colors. So tis the season to wear all those fall colors. Tis the season to add some turquoise to your wardrobe. All right, the earrings are very limited. I know the Kingman and the necklace is now very limited. So I'll give you a little co couple updates there. Both are customer picks. Just stay on the line for it. Sold out in March. Oh my gosh, we have so much to come, including another item that hasn't aired since July. We have the most amazing earrings. So I'm going to switch to another pair so you can get a look at another one coming up. But first, let me tell you about Lancome Paris. They are one of the premier beauty companies in the world. And now tonight, you can snag all your Lancome favorites this month. Lancome is back in a big way with the beauty box, which is really amazing. That includes, get this, get this part, 11 full-size favorites in our beauty box. And what else is really cool? It's free shipping, you won't wanna miss it, and the price is unbelievable. So check it out, the show airs October 10th. There you go, so that's the first time that's gonna be airing. All right, what's happening next? Well, we've got a fabulous, fabulous item you have not seen since July, and we have brand new still to come. The list is your go-to guide for our favorite fashion and accessory finds of the week. We have the best styles hand-picked just for you. Join us every Thursday night to see what made the list. HSN. Worry about one less thing with our Protection Plus plans at HSN. Electronics, fitness equipment, even jewelry can be covered. Shop smarts and protect your purchase. It's easy to add when you're checking out. Search Protection Plus at hsn.com for more details. Okay, it's live television, so when I have to switch out earrings, I just bring it live. I don't care. You know, I've fallen on a set before. I've tripped over things. One time, Jennifer, I was super pregnant, and I made this grand entrance and knocked all the jewelry over with my belly. <laughs> yeah, that was a great sign. <laughs> I'm still holding that baby weight 22 years later, too. <laughs> anyway, the whole point being we're live, and I got to switch earrings. We can't wait to get to these, guys. These are insanely great earrings. But before we do that, you guys love this from the preview and this is gonna be our stamped statement cuff. We also have a beautiful ring I'm gonna feature along with it. Just a pretty, pretty piece. Oh, and I guess my necklace I gotta pop off, huh? Let's take this off too. All right, we got the whole suite. So um, we have available, start, we'll start with just the cuff itself. First time back, as I mentioned, right before the break, since we aired it in July. So it's been a bit before since we've had this on the air. And as I was, 
talking to Jennifer too, it's so rare for us to be able to bring things back that were popular. And, and really, Jennifer, the reason is, is you know, your artisans are working many, many months in advance, right? Yes, they are, and they're all, they get excited and they listen to music and <laughs> just, you know, they get into that groove of you know, making the pieces and just getting everything done for us. Yeah, I love that too. All right, so let's talk about the cuff. It's a wow. There's a lot of symbolism in this cuff though, isn't there? There is, and you can see all that stamp work. Uh, the stamp work here is made by Mike Smith. He's one of our master silversmiths right there that you see him. And uh, uh, he works actually with his wife and, and uh, brother-in-law. And his wife actually taught him the art of silversmithing. Did she really? Yes. No kidding. <laughs> that wow. picture right there, he was real shy. And I was trying to tell him, come on, take a picture. And he's like, no, the next guy, he's talking about Emerson. And Emerson was just, you know, wanting to come and take a picture. But, you know, all the guys are so nice. They're so humble, but yet they they want to keep working on what they do. Right, and, yes. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And do they get excited when they see their pieces sell out? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> do they ever rib each other? Like, hey, mine sold out. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, I've heard stories of them going to bingo, you know, just to uh, just to celebrate, you know. The whole thing I heard about was just bingo the whole time or either going out and having a drink, you know, just you just celebrating, the, you know, the fact that they're making, they're continuing to work and make pieces and just, you know, loving what they do. I love that, mm -hmm. too. And like I said earlier, just to the story, of the show here's the thing we get to wear stunning jewelry and I truly believe you can feel the artisan's love in each and every piece when you touch them mm -hmm. when you have them on and I get a bit of goosebumps on it and I will share my first turquoise story but um it's it's that we're supporting Native American artists right here in our own home area and I love that and we saw a lot of jewelry from all over the world but this to me really is so important to keep this tradition going we never want it to be ever a lost art you know <laughs> no it's true yes. I never want Native American jewelry to ever ever be something in the past or oh I have an old piece and they don't make it anymore that would be the saddest thing when it comes to really being passionate about such art and when you're buying these pieces you're truly wearing art think about it is investing not only in precious metal, I mean, it is sterling silver, you have this huge, huge center stone cabochon, but truly you're investing in art and there's artisans behind it with their families who we also are supporting through their passion. So it's a win-win if you look at it for me, I love it. And then because of what Jennifer and Chaco Canyon does, they're able to bring us direct pricing. That's so important, guys. If you go to Taos, New Mexico, or Albuquerque, go into any of the galleries, a piece like this can be in the hundreds and hundreds and even thousands of dollars. Look at the size of this. I'm gonna put it on my uh, wrist so you can see it. This is not a wimpy, wimpy little piece. It is a ton of sterling silver. It's a magnificent sale price. We've got the five flex on everything in the show. It's just something that, that we all can be so passionate about. Okay, we're gonna wrap this up, guys. We'll get more into the story because we've got the matching pieces to tell you about. We're gonna move right to this beautiful ring. So let's get into the ring now. What do we love about this? It's absolutely brand new and it's on sale at the exact same time. Let's talk a little bit about, as we were talking earlier, some of the symbolism that we find in the ring. Do you wanna stop with maybe the teardrop? Because I think the shape is great. Uh, for the, the artisan here, her name is Sheena Jack and she has worked with us for over 25 years. Aww. She's very talented, shy and humble and takes pride in her pieces. And she says that she likes the shape of the ring. It reminds her of teardrops falling from the sky even when a teardrop is falling from her ancestors. She said she likes to wear this ring pointing towards her fingernail and when she looks down she sees the teardrop falling from the sky. Oh that's neat so isn't it? it the wrong way. There you go. <laughs> there. <laughs> Well, let's talk about a lot of times when you see Native American artistry, they use a lot of roping design. Why yes. do they use that? Why do they choose that texture? I was told that for the roping design, that is actually uh, supposed to connect the, the artisan to the wearer. And you're, it's supposed to bind uh, your their soul to yours because they put their time and effort into it. And you're the one who's picking out that specific design, that specific stone. And so when that comes to you, that's a part of them coming out to you. So it's like we're bound together. Yes, yes. The, the, you, the artisan and then the person who's wearing. It. Yes. Beautiful, right? <laughs> and again, by the way, don't forget about that cuff. I know it's on sale. I know it's rather limited. It's And I think you can wear the ring either way. Uh, personally, I do like to wear it pointing towards my fingernails as well. I don't know why, but you certainly can choose that. Sizes 5 through 12, gang. Right now, we're good on all sizes. Um, by the way, Cynthia's asking. She wears clip-on earrings. During this show, Cynthia, we only have pierced earrings. So, sorry about that. Do you guys ever do clip-ons? I 
don't think so. I don't but you can ask. Oh, you can uh, go to Chaco Canyon and um, on Facebook and on Instagram. Yeah. And you can uh, ask uh, them actually, and they probably could redo one for you for <gasps> clip-ons. Oh, there you go. All right. So you can go to ChacoCanyon.com and ask them. Yes, it is hard to find clip-ons in turquoise. Uh, so, oh, she says they sell out in minutes every time, uh, anytime I get them in. Oh, gotcha. All right. Love turquoise almost as much as diamonds. That's Jenny too. Jenny, isn't that the truth too? I'm kind of with you on that. And the other day when I was all turquoised up, I just loved it. I love <laughs> the color. I love, I think turquoise against any skin tone is so remarkable and so beautiful. And if you don't have a piece, we are your source to buy it. Because Jen, I know you, and I'm sure Chaco Canyon, there is unfortunately really good fakes out there now, mm -hmm. right? I mean, that's yes. something we all have to watch out for, but obviously you guys authent authenticate all of them, so it's not a problem. <laughs> I've heard stories, you know, from you, from Jay, and from Connie, and uh, from Jay, I learned a few things like along the way over the years, and just to look at the jewelry, to and especially from the artisans themselves, and um, just just beware of what you buy, but you, yeah. oh, over here you're getting genuine Native American jewelry, and especially turquoise uh, coming from the U.S. Yes, mm -hmm. which uh, we love that, yes. and again, and here's the thing, Jay always has an interesting point, Jay King does a lot of turquoise jewelry uh, with um, Kingman and all that, and he said, you know, when he first started out, there was like, I think he says like 73 mines in the U.S., they're basically down to like two, and Kingman being <laughs> the one that's really, truly operating, right? Yes. And that to me is remarkable. So even he's had to search farther and farther. What I love about Chocolate Canyon is always US based. So yes, you guys yes. have great relationships to be able to get turquoise that's actually mined here in the US. Oh yes, I, I, one time I thought I, I gotten a, a nice, uh, you know, big piece of turquoise. And um, so what had happened was <laughs> I went out to a ceremony and uh, my ring actually fell off of my finger and it hit a rock. So I'm thinking the stone was a whole stone, but it actually it was like compact <gasps> dust. Oh, are you serious? Yes, you I didn't like, even realize it? <laughs> You're like, oh, what no, is I got a knockoff. <laughs> like, is I supposed to do this? You know, was I bad? You know, at that time, I was thinking about it. It was like, no, you know, they, I was told that it was fake. I was just like, oh. Okay, okay. darn okay. it. Well, because unfortunately, yeah. they're really, really good at making really fake turquoise and anymore. And I didn't know about, you know, different metals and things like that. And like my arm was turning green and just like different colors. And I thought that was the way it was supposed to be. But, you know, I seemed, I learned later on that it's not. <laughs> yeah. a, couple years, a couple years later and many years of doing yeah, this, you yes. now have that figured uh -huh. out. And I, that is important too, because you'll spend a lot of money and not realize that it's something's been dyed or something's been, they use a basic white stone and they actually dye it to make it look like turquoise. Mm -hmm. And it's passed <laughs> off as the real thing. And a lot a lot of dealers don't even know that. So you've got to really be careful if you're going to buy turquoise where you're buying it from. And we can guarantee you what we say it is. It absolutely is. You're not going to have it turned to dust. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm going to show you a couple items doing extremely well earlier. Love the slab. I just think there's something bold and exciting and wonderful about it. A third of the quantity already gone. What's the most limited of the two? I'm going to guess Kingman. Okay, so here's your Kingman. All right, there's ceremonial, there's your Kingman. That's gonna be the first to sell out. And isn't this just wonderful? The story behind it is, it was on the air and sold out. It was on the air and sold out back in March. Back in March, right. And now it's back for only the second time ever. And isn't there just something so stunning and I think it's modern, I think it's fresh, I think it's just a beautiful piece. If you can envision this, you're wearing a white blouse and it's popping out from the white blouse. You've got a great turtleneck on and you're wearing it, it's just that standout piece. Also imagine taking longer necklaces around it and just making that frame, that kind of the center point of a framed piece, it would be beautiful. In the Kingman, I have less than 100 left, so that one's almost sold out. This is your ceremonial, it's a little bit lighter, a hair bit greener than the Kingman. Would that be the best way to describe it? Yes. Teeny bit greener, definitely lighter mm -hmm. uh, and it's still available but the Kingman's almost gone also don't forget do we still have the matching long earrings in the uh, ceremonial I'll just show them to you real quick in case you didn't see them they're fabulous so we've got the earrings a little garnets on the top too and that knee just because they're called slabs which is the perfect name for them <laughs> all right so those are really really popular I'm glad you guys are enjoying those and here it is so one more time here are the earrings guys da -da -da. I love them I'm like crazed over these Again, oh, by the way, they're very comfortable, which was interesting for such a big piece of turquoise. You would think they'd let be me, let me, You would think they'd be really heavy, yeah. Look at, look at how much silver's on these guys. I mean, just, 
it's a whole 360 degree experience. It's beautiful. And little teeny garnets on the top. We're down to the final 125 of the slab earrings. And they're long. I mean, they came in, I don't have my ruler. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But they're long, but they're gorgeous. <laughs> you know, you'll just measure it real quick. Hang on one second. Because I know at home you can't tell because you think these are little teeny pieces, three inches. But like, look at this, it's a good idea. If this is a ring, look at that. It's like taking up my whole finger. <laughs> that helps. All right, there we go. We're gonna wrap up on that one, guys. Almost a half a carat of the gemstone, too, so you have a quarter carat per ear on your garnet. Isn't that pretty? All right, gotta keep moving because we have lots of treats for you guys. Hang on to your hats. What are we doing next? Oh, my horsies. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I have, they always say young girls fall in love with horses first, <laughs> and then it's guys <laughs> later on. And that was true for me. Um, I used to ride a lot of horses. Western was my thing. I was not an English rider, but I did do Western riding. And I think it's part of my childhood for sure. And I've always been passionate about horses. Obviously very important in Native American artistry and in lore and in history. Check out this, it's called Galloping Horses. This is one of those that to me is so sculptural. It looks like the horses are just moving along on the air. Their gait is so impeccable. Dots of beautiful gemstone. This is the first time back since selling out, listen to this, in 2018. 2018, we have five flex pays on it. You're looking at amethyst, turquoise, and Swiss blue topaz. Look at how magnificent that is. There are literally 74 for the entire viewing audience, which is 87 million households. So pretty soon that's gonna sell out. Your amethyst and sweet blue, blue topaz is one and a half carats. You do have your kingman blue turquoise in the center. Beautiful design and just what a piece. Like, oh my gosh, there's a, there's a museum called the James Museum here in St. Pete now, and it's all Native American and Southwestern art. I heard about that. I, you I gotta go. That, yes. You gotta give enough time to go one time because you'll be in awe. Right? Beautiful turquoise jewelry, by the way. Um, <laughs> they have sculptures, bronze sculptures that have this kind of movement in them. Wow. So it's yeah, it's truly to me very much like a piece of art that you're wearing here. This would be this would be a good addition. I mean, the artist in here, his name is Clarence Long. Mm -hmm. As you can see here, he's got the 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 movement of the horse. It's basically kind of running on your neck 3D type looking uh, design here. And so when you see this throughout the Southwest, you're gonna see a lot of uh, uh, horses that are wild out there. And um, just to see the different types of horses is just amazing. I this to me is such a sensational piece. And, and please think about how much sterling silver you're getting in that one. I mean, it is really an incredible amount of sterling involved in that. Um, so here's the story. It's called Galloping Horses. There's now about 60 left. The appraised value is almost $300. Notice the size too. I'm so glad we're seeing it. Yeah, this one's gonna be gone, guys. It's almost three inches wide. Yeah, that is a wow. That is, I, again, I get goosebumps on this <laughs> stuff. I really do. And just, it's, it's a carat and a half of just the blue topaz and the amethyst gemstone on there. And we're gonna update you right now. It is completely sold out. Now, if you are a horsey person, like I am, I'm gonna show you two other pieces because I've never had so many horses in one show and I've never seen that piece before, so that one's great. So we're gonna do the necklace and then we'll talk about the ring that I'm wearing. Oh, let me turn it around for you. So here's the necklace. Check this out. Oh, are you guys gonna do liquid silver? Oh, we're talking about this first. All right, so I have liquid silver back in stock. And to me, liquid silver is great with everything. It could be your J. King, it could be a cross you have. You might have some Carol Brody items, whatever you have. If it's silver or you need a necklace, liquid silver is magnificent. These are what are called little teeny he-she beads and they're all strung by hand. If you go in really tight, they're like one little teeny bead followed by another, all strung by hand. I personally would lose my mind if they said that is your job. <laughs> I would yeah. be, I'd be like, no, thank you. I can't do it. But the artisans who do are amazing. So here's what I have. I have 18 inches, 24 inches, and in the 30 inch, I only have about a dozen remaining. And I was wearing the 30 inch a lot, a little bit earlier, and it hangs very long. I would grab the 30 inch because that's a very unusual uh, length to be able to get. If you want the 18 inch, there's 150 available in the 18 inch. And the 24 is a great length too. I think, you know, 18 is kind of common for silver, but the 24 and the 30 30. Those are gems to have in your wardrobe. They truly are. All right, so now we're going to show you the horsey pieces because if you love horses, galloping's gone. We have two more, though. I love this. If you have a girl, like I was when I was very young, I was very much in love with horses before guys, <laughs> this would be, I think, a wonderful piece to share with them. Also, friends of mine who are in the horse community, what a neat piece for them to have. Michaela is a, a friend of mine's daughter. She uh, shows horses. She would love this. This is now on sale for $59.90. You do not get the 
uh, necklace with it. It's just the pendant itself, but isn't that pretty? And then look at this great ring. Let me do sizes for you in the ring. This is also on sale. It's $69.90. And the sizes in the ring right now are? Five, oh, we have five through 11. 12's already sold out. So 12 sold out. Isn't that beautiful? And again, there's, so if you missed out on the galloping horses and you really love this concept or theme, go for these two because I think they're equally as lovely. I do, I really, really do. Do we get to talk about my circle earrings now? I want to own these earrings so bad. There's two pairs of earrings I want. Can you guess the other pair I want in the show? The slabs or? No, nope, slabs are great. They're still to come. Ah. <laughs> Do you know which ones? No. Okay. Well, you're going to find out. This is the first of two, though. <laughs> and my producer, well, my, my co-producer, I don't know how you describe when I have two producers working at once. My co-producer said she's gone turquoise crazy this week. Allison, have you bought anything in the show so far? She has, really? You got to let me know what, which ones you picked up. So my producer, co-producer is like going... Oh, did you get the slab necklace? Oh, Allison, good choice. Oh, I love that. All right, so check these out. Aren't they fabulous? You know what I noticed first, Jennifer? They are so comfortable. These are big guys. They come in at almost three inches. Then you've got the drop. Once again, you have your choice of ceremonial or kingman. So your ceremonial is going to be on this side. Your kingman is going to be a little bit of the brighter blue here. So there's ceremonial in the greener. There's your kingman over here. Now on the top, and the kingman's the most limited, as typically happens. The top here is going to be, what are we using the gemstone on this one? Oh, oh, that's very cool. Oh, it's a garnet, so you got little garnets on the top. So you have garnet gemstones on the top, and of course, they're for purest ears. Who created these? Because I love them. <laughs> <laughs> the artist in here is Brandon Blinn. And uh, when you see this, it comes in two colors. It comes with the cushion cut garnet and green ceremonial turquoise and baby blue turquoise. That's pretty cool. So the artist in here, Brandon, his father, uh, was actually uh, one of our, our first silversmiths that we had with uh, Running Bear a long time ago. And um, he had taught the art of silversmithing to Brandon. So in order to honor his uh, his father's um, memory, he decided to become you know the best he could be you know at a master silversmith. So he and his other family members are also silversmiths with us, and so the mm -hmm. you can see like what their end products are and how much that uh, their their uh, relative Richard had taught them. Yeah, and I, these are brand new too. So it's the first time you guys are seeing them tonight. Um, I think they're really spectacular. I think they blend the Native American look look with a more modern design. So I love that, you know, I think it's instead of just having a garnet with a nice little drop of turquoise, boy, once you add that hoop, that circle, it totally transforms the look of the earrings and they are wildly comfortable. I do not know how they did that, but you literally will almost forget you're wearing these. Although when you, even when I, I'm going to do this, I'm going to squeeze the turquoise. Now I'm not going to squish it because you don't want to be brutal to it, but I want you to see this. I'm really pushing hard on that. And that is some solid turquoise, or silver right there really solid it's not just a little wimpy wire no no yeah. and actually this uh the hoop represents the circle of life it also represents mother earth and its sacred you know divinity and it represents the the new life and new beginnings and so when you see uh this type of design it's also a representation of um yeah the 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 coming of new life, the coming of rain. There's different ceremonies that involve uh, the, the hoops, the, the hoop dance. Mm -hmm. And also for the men, they do the hoop dance too with a different, maybe six or eight hoops all together. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'd love to see yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've seen the eagle dance before live. Mm -hmm. It was really neat on the sunrise. It was the most amazing experience. We were on a mesa and they did the eagle dance and that was just... Yes. Yes. Unbelievable. If you ever get a chance to actually see a true ceremonial um, event, please try to go. You'll have a whole new appreciation just for how precious our Native Americans are. Um, the garnet is 1.28 carats. So we're talking about three, about three quarters of a carat per ear. Now that's substantial and I don't want to blow that off because the earring's a, a big earring, but please don't miss at how beautiful the gemstones are. And you know what I love because I'm watching them on your ears? The quality of these garnets and that Swiss blue we just saw in the galloping piece and the amethyst very nice stones like very high quality gemstones right 
I like I like this, but especially when uh, you have that uh, touch of garnet right there. The the garnet is actually a, a symbolism in Native American culture. They use it, that color a lot within their pottery making, their jewelry making, and the rug make, making especially. And um, so that's a, basically like a representation of life and new beginnings. And so you have that you know mother and father effect of the sky stone and red bean uh, coming from Mother Earth. I knew you girls were gonna love this. The Kingman's almost gone. We have 80 left in the Kingman, and that's gonna be your brighter blue. So there's the Kingman. Your ceremony is a little bit more green, a little bit more brown a matrix, wouldn't you say, in the ceremonial as well. Um, but again, there's that brighter blue in the Kingman. These are almost sold out. Uh, once again, please consider these as part of your collection. I think they really do combine the very best of Native American designs and then combine that with really a fresh approach to a great earring. I mean, how many of us love hoops? I love the fact these are faced towards you as opposed to this way, like a traditional hoop, so you can really see them. There's now only 50 left. So last call on the Kingman, that's gonna be completely sold out here in just a second. And what I like too is within Jennifer's show, you'll see lots of Kingman pieces and ceremonial, so you can be pretty much assured they're gonna blend and work beautifully together. All right, coming up right after the break, you ready for this? I'm so excited. <laughs> sleeping, whenever I get to say the word sleeping beauty, it's just such a happy thing. But already we've sold several hundred. Look at this girls. If you want the top of the line, it's what every turquoise in the world always would like to grow up to be. It is absolutely Sleeping Beauty. And you can see the difference. Look at how crazy vivid blue this is. It's coming up in one minute, one minute. And I'll tell you, I have about 390 left and then that is completely gone. And that is a gem to get literally genuine Sleeping Beauty turquoise. All right, lots more new coming up. Stay right here, but Juliana's back. G by Juliana is for the confident, fashionable, amazing woman. She can expect to feel comfortable. She can also expect a lot of compliments. They'll be asking, who are you wearing? We love our gemstones to be beautiful, colorful, and durable. That's why we give some of them a little more love. Enhancements may require special care and may not be permanent, while others may last a lifetime. For more information, visit hsn.com and search gemstone to see our gemstone enhancement chart. I'm Suzanne Runyon. This is Chaco Canyon. Jennifer Wands with me. She's from the uh, San Carlos Apache tribe, and she brings us all these amazing pieces. I got to tell you, I haven't been this excited about a Chaco show in a long time, just because we have bold and beautiful and pieces you got to stick around to see. It is a jam-packed couple of hours. Now, I also love a good sale, like we all do, and that's why I'm going to feature these two items right now. We went through, and we were really picking around and saying, let's find some great, great pieces that I think you're going to love, and these are two that we picked. Number one, it is a trio, so we have the triple. It's yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Three kids, three grandkids, three of anything works. It's a elongated ring and it is $99.98. Now currently I have sizes 5 through 12 so we're good in all sizes but this is on sale for under $100 and of course plenty of turquoise. Then I do want to feature this. This is going to be check it out too. Oh my gosh we missed one of our horses. If we sold out of the galloping horse so that is gone. We sold out Oh, we have the ring and we have a little pendant available. So our galloping big pendant's already sold out. Once again if you love the idea of that beautiful, beautiful, majestic horse. This is a trio, and then it's followed by four cabochons of your genuine turquoise. We have two sizes in this, small, medium, Oh, well, I lied. We only have small, medium. The medium, large is sold out. Sorry about that. And that will fit up to a six inch wrist. Although if you're gentle, you can make it a little bigger for you. This was on sale down from 321 
to $259.95. And this is great for a guy too. I mean, this is really a hefty piece. You'll feel it when you get it at home. There's 44 of you who will ever now own this great bracelet. And this is the same artist who did the galloping pendant, do you know? Um, Actually, Jennifer? no, it's different. That is, this is Thomas Yazzie. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I love this. Look at the mane. I love the sweep of the hair. Once again, that sculptural movement. 40 of you now will get this one and then it's going to be gone on sale for the first time. And of course, we have five legs on everything, which is pretty amazing. All right. We got to keep going because we still have more to get to, I, including, uh, you're going to see my second favorite pair of earrings in the show. Actually, they're <laughs> neck and neck. I'm, I'm going to put them on to give you a sneak peek. But let's talk about a coil bracelet. All right. So this is what's really amazing about this next piece is that it's very, 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 very hard to get Sleeping Beauty turquoise. It's very hard. It is truly one of the most coveted turquoises in the world. If you're a turquoise in China, you want to be Sleeping Beauty. If you're a turquoise anywhere, I don't care where the turquoise come from, you want to be Sleeping Beauty. It is truly the most collected, the, the highest, most coveted turquoise that you can get your hands on. And I think right from that shot, you can see why. It is the most vivid blue, and it has the least matrix when it is Sleeping Beauty. I 100% expect this to sell out. In fact, you know what's interesting, Jennifer? Mm -hmm. If you took it apart and just used the turquoise chunks by themselves, just getting the turquoise has got to be more than $114.98, let alone all the silver and all the other goodies that are with it. But incredible to get Sleeping Beauty in this show. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Wow. <laughs> I like this for the fact that this is a, this is a, a bracelet that everyone enjoys, and especially uh, for, for me and my family members, uh, they, this is something that I have to fight my aunts and my cousins with because they like to go through all my jewelry and every time they come to my apartment I have to double check to see if I have everything still because <laughs> the next time little I see, sticky fingers the next time I see them I'm like I don't like that and they're like oh yeah I got this you know just a few days ago I'm like oh really and I uh, come to find out that that was mine but yeah this, this is something that everyone likes and this is very easy to put on and this yeah, is so basically easy. grab and go yeah Mm -hmm. That's what I love about yes. it. I have a, a coil turquoise necklace or bracelet I probably bought, I don't know, probably 20 years ago, right? Um, it was from a shop, QVC, my sister station I used to work for. Uh, and I just wear it to death. And I like it because you don't have to think much. You pop it on and you don't have to worry about sizing. So if you're thinking about doing a really cool gift for somebody, grab the coil. Um, it is limited. It will sell out. We have five flex pays on it right now. I love the fact that we have these great little sterling silver beads that kind of break up some of the nuggets but then again guys look at that turquoise that really you you almost can unisex, tell though. this is this oh, is a unisex piece. Wonder, well you know what we could do too is we have the big one let me show you the one we just featured this is one with the beautiful horse that we don't have a lot of and again so if a guy was wearing it and then he popped this on with it even though it's not the same uh, color turquoise you know look how look at that i mean mm -hmm. and that's how you you and a lot of native americans really pile oh. it on i mean you wear <laughs> yes. it right <laughs> more than that but yes <laughs> This is basically like a status symbol on the, the reservation, and it's it's like the more you have, you know, it's like the awesomer you are, you know. And right. but uh, the artist in here, her, her name is Rita Begay. She comes from a long line of uh, silversmiths wow. and beaters, and so uh, I have actually went to go to to Chaco Canyon, and I seen her this past summer, mm -hmm. and. Um, First thing she did is just give me a big old smile. And uh, when I first met her, she was really quiet. And um, she was really laughing and talking with another woman that was beside her. And that's my first memory of her. Uh, but she was quiet at that time. But the second time I went to go and see her, uh, she looked at me. She goes, hey, hi, how are you doing? I said, fine. Mm -hmm. And she's like, nice to see you. you know, you look good. And so she was, you know, started meeting again. And she was just, you know, kept it nice and simple. But she was basically focused on her work. And so making things like this, you know, for a woman who's on the go, who wants to still look fashionable, you know, this is one of her favorite pieces to make. Well, and some of the things that I love with the coil is it layers with everything. It yes. could be another turquoise. It could be a watch. It could be a whole bunch of silver bangle bracelets. You can mix it back to gold because gold and turquoise together looks amazing. There's, you just, for me a coil is so easy. There's no clasp, clasp. You don't have to fiddle with anything. You don't have to ask somebody to help you put a bracelet on. You literally throw it on and go. If you've got wrapped leather bracelets and then you add this to 
it, that's magnificent. If you have a white watch you love to wear, can you imagine this sleeping turquoise with that vivid, bright, clean, clear blue and a white watch right beside it? I mean, come on, that is gorgeous. <laughs> but here's a rare opportunity. Of all the shows I've done with you, Jen, I do not recall doing many coils at all. Mm -hmm. We don't see them very often. In fact, I don't remember last time I saw one. It's been a while. It's yeah, been well, a long time. on this one specifically, it was May when it sold out last, mm -hmm. but I did not do your May shows, so I didn't have it. So this is really a real treat. And the other thing is you have to remember, you're looking at one of the most coveted turquoises in the world. Everybody wants to get their hand on Sleeping Beauty. I don't care what show I'm doing, if we show Sleeping Beauty, it sells out in a nanosecond because it is so vivid blue, it's so veinless. That's kind of the beauty of when you see Sleeping Beauty, you know it if you know turquoise because it's very, very blue. They call it sky blue. That's just that really bright, beautiful blue sky on a gorgeous fall day, right? And then you see very little veining in Sleeping Beauty. It's a very clean mm -hmm. turquoise, actually. And it's really hard to get. That's why everyone gets so excited that when you see a, a Sleeping Beauty piece. You know, it's really funny, too. Most of the time, if you see Sleeping Beauty outside of Chaco Canyon, it'll be just a couple of little pieces that are intermixed in a bigger necklace, like because you can't get your hands on it and it's very expensive. So this to me is remarkable to get a whole coil collection of Sleeping Beauty. It wouldn't surprise me to see silver beads and two pieces of Sleeping Beauty and then silver beads and two more little pieces. But to get all of these nuggets in one, we're down to the last 300 before this is completely sold out. And do you have a, do you have a lot of your artisans who work in the nuggets and really prefer to work in nuggets in this type of design? I would say the more uh, the beaters than the uh, the, the silversmiths. Okay. They, with the silversmiths, they like to work on the bigger pieces and because they have their stamp work that they go back and forth on. As for the beaters, it's uh, they can uh, do their their design all in, at, one t at one time and, mm -hmm. you know, bead as they go. Now, let me ask you this question. Would beaters also enjoy doing the liquid silver pieces? Yes, because they're very meticulous at what they do. You yeah, have and to be, right? To, and you have to be, you know, very precise in how you want your design and how, you know, things are going, you know, in your mind. Whereas if you want someone else to do it, you have to tell them. But for them, it's just like second nature, you know, just to bead every single piece and go right. through another one and another one. As for me, no, uh, for <laughs> liquid silver, I can't do that because yeah. I've tried, it's just, no. Uh -uh. Yeah, no, no, I don't. Honestly, I don't know how they do size, it. Size, yes, but no, but it, this no. <laughs> if you gave me macaroni and yes. yarn, I could make a darn good necklace. But this, this kind of bead. So yes. you will find that the women or the men who do this mm -hmm. type of beading do this as well. Yes. So yes. they're they're kind of that's their mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. It's just beautiful. All right, guys, here's another update. We have a minute and thirty seconds to go. This is down to the last couple hundred available. When it sells out again, it's going to be gone for a while. And I'll be honest. Yeah. In fact, there's more people on the line right now you're on dot com or you're talking to somebody than we have available but here's the key to this it is very rare to see Sleeping Beauty. I, I, I'm very blessed to do a ton of Jay King shows. Jay had a big visit along with Jennifer joining us now. We talk turquoise in Jay. You're not gonna see more turquoise in any show than you do Chaco Canyon. Quite frankly, I mean, it's all about the turquoise and the silver in Chaco Canyon. While as Jay does lots of different designs, and we love them, I have a lot of Jay King stuff, but if you really are passionate about turquoise, this is the place you wanna be. And if you really are passionate about collecting the very best, this is the bracelet that you want. There's no doubt about it. Again, because of the rarity and how exquisite Sleeping Beauty is. It is a vivid, amazing blue. It almost looks like it's plugged in and has electricity running through it. It is very, has very few veining in it. So it's a very clean turquoise, which you don't see very much anymore because the Sleeping Beauty is just that rare. It's incredible. So if you, again, you're thinking about it, I've got a lot of you on the line or you're using .com, which is the way to go and stay right there to make sure you grab this coil bracelet. Sold out back in May, first time back since selling out. Have no idea if we'll have it back again. In fact, I was surprised we had so many <laughs> reordered items today because they they really do you guys are working how far out how, how, how far out are the artisans working to get to our next show oh wow they're going to be working about eight months out right Maybe right eight, eight nine months uh -huh. so when we come yes. back and say by the way do another sleeping beauty coil bracelet they go yeah right <laughs> <laughs> first let's find the sleeping beauty turquoise to begin with and anyway so stay right there i know we're pretty limited guys we're just going to talk about the double pendant now because it's just beautiful so stay on the line for the coil now we're going to talk about the double drop pendant this is a brand new piece it's the first time you're seeing it the chain is not included but remember i have the he she 
um, liquid silver chains available in three links. So you pick your link to create the effect that you would like. Uh, this is two and 11 sixteenths of an inch by one inch. And when I pop it over, I'm gonna show you right there, there's your bale. And why do you do a bale like this? Why do they choose to add that type of bale? Uh, for that type of bale, you can actually put it on different types of uh, necklaces, mm -hmm. or either if you have a scarf, or if you have a hat, or any, or you on your bar or your purse. Yeah, I mean, it's very you can kind of hook it on, mm -hmm. yeah. And what I like about the veil too, is that one of the prettiest things I've ever seen is wearing a pair of pearls with a per turquoise drop. And this works because they knot, if you, have a, if you have a turquoise necklace, let's say, or a pearl, there's always knots in between typically most of the beads, especially in a pearl necklace to protect the pearls. When you drop this in the center of a white pearl necklace, bar the door. <laughs> it's <laughs> one of the most regal and chic and elegant looks you can ever imagine. And guess what? That allows you to do that because it'll hook right over that little knot and not affect the pearls when you're wearing it. So a little FYI for oh, you. Isn't that nice? nice? I would totally wear it with pearls. It'd be beautiful. <laughs> now, let me give you an idea of the size of this because sometimes I know, Jen, when they're watching at home, you kind of have a tough time figuring it out. So look at this. If this were a bracelet, and by the way, Make sure you see the bracelet I am wearing. But if that were a bracelet, look at how fantastic and big that pendant is. I'm not even showing. If this were a necklace, it would have been enough just to do that. And that would have been a great necklace. But of course, in this design, you're actually getting both. It's very, very large. And it really is a showstopper. Who is the designer behind this piece? The designer there for the pendant is Calvin Boleyn. And um, his father actually is Richard Boleyn and brother to Brandon Boleyn. Uh, they're, big, they're a big family. And he's been with us for a, a very long time. And he says he can make about 10 of these a day. And these stones are hand cut, especially for these pieces. Oh gosh, they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. And again, once again, we see that beautiful roping around it. Uh, go back and explain why the roping is significant. For the roping, it is said that, that well, the artisans say that that's supposed to bind the soul of the designer to the wearer. And um, that is to, because they put the heart and soul into it and especially a lot of time and effort. So it basically you're a part of their family and they're a part of yours when you, when you get that piece of jewelry. I just love it mm -hmm. too, I really do. And that also is a very traditional design in Native American jewelry. Jewelry making. I mean, it dates back to many, many years. That's not a true. It's not a modern design. No, because you, everything has a purpose. You know, you have that the hoops for the circle of life, the pair for the rain, and especially for uh, for the the twisted bezel that you see there, because you're binding your life with theirs, because you're taking a piece of what was you know. Uh, came from them, you're, you're having it, you know, come into your life. Right. And mm -hmm. explain how each and every one of these are totally handcrafted, because that's that's remarkable to, get, oh, to yes, begin so with. You, we were talking about slabs earlier. You get a piece of turquoise, and then they, they hand cut it out, and they hand uh, sand it down, they buff it, they clean it, they, um, after they set it in, it just, everything is done by hand. Nothing is done by machine. Oh, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and again, I think the process, I've been very, very fortunate to see not only Native American um, craftsmen, artisans do their artwork, but I've been around the world. I've been to Italy to see them do their work in Italy, their chain work and all that kind of stuff. And, and if you ever get an opportunity, which it is a unique opportunity, it is remarkable to see the life of a piece of jewelry. I think a lot of times we think, oh, there's just some crazy machines that are blopping them out somewhere. When you see how much love and work and patience and skill goes into making these, you really even appreciate the jewelry more. You truly do. And I've always found anybody who I've ever met who makes jewelry by hand, they are so proud to talk about it and show you it and, and give you stories behind it. It is such a joy. And if you really do get a, a chance to get down to uh, the northwestern, or I mean the southwestern part of the U.S. and visit, go to Santa Fe and visit with the Native Americans designing there and stuff, they will talk to you forever if you want to <laughs> chat with them. And I love it because they'll tell you stories and they really do like to share. Yes. I think they're so proud of their work. They want to share the stories so you appreciate it too. But if you can't get down there, this is where you shop. <laughs> okay, uh, let me give you a quick update. We're going to do the necklace. Okay, unfortunately, we are almost sold out of two sizes. Now, let me give you the update. This is the 18 inch. We also have a 24 and we have a 30 inch, the big long one. We have 11 left of the 30. And do you have the 30 inch hanging on anything? I'm going to show you guys the difference because I think it's a treat to have that 30. I truly do. Thank you, darling. Uh, let me show you. Okay, so here's the 30 inch. And what makes this spectacular is now you can wear something very low. So it's normally up here high. This is the 18. And also, we don't want to fiddle with... There you go. 30 inches sold out. <laughs> 
<laughs> so much for that so much for that story let me show you the 24 inch yeah so you're gonna get kind of the same idea here's the 24 inch so it's gonna hang a bit lower than the 18 inch we're okay on the 24 that's an unusual length unfortunately the 18 inch is almost gone how many do I have left in the 18 I have 90 left in the 18 inch so if you want the standard that's almost gone. By the way, just so you see the back of it too, I love this elongated tube. You can put a lot of bales over that. So most of the pieces that you're gonna get from Jay or here in Chaco Canyon, this is really easy. Or maybe if you already have some beautiful uh, pendants at home but you don't have that wow silver necklace, I just love the idea of that he she because it's just a standout. Okay, and it is multi, multi little teeny pieces of sterling silver that both Jennifer and I will never make in our entire lives because <laughs> it's <laughs> way too hard. Okay, so we've got an earring. I told you, we should have called this earring fest almost <laughs> because this earring is unbelievable. Girls, it's like four big pendants put into an earring set. Four, I mean, if I wore this by itself, that's $169. If I wore this one by itself, $169. Let's do all four in one. Wow. So these are for pierced ears. They're very comfortable. Tons of sterling silver. This is, of course, the double cross Zuni earrings. Now, these are brand new. First time you're seeing them, $20 off. They're an inch wide, but they're uh, three and one eighths inch long. So these are three inches long from top to bottom. So who created these? This is made by Verona Kwam. She's from the Zuni Reservation. And um, I hope I said this right. She's from the Ayuli family. And this is uh, actually, this is their, their family design, like their family crest. And uh, especially the way it is made, it's got that uh, rustic uh, um, look to it. And um, if, you had, if you go to the Southwest, you see a lot of these on uh, a lot of the Adobe uh, church houses uh, throughout the Southwest. Are they really? Is, yes. Oh, of course you do. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. And obviously, um, it's interesting because Christianity plays a very long uh, role in Native American history, too, mm -hmm. um, with the Spaniards coming in and, and everything in that case. I, I guess that was Catholicism, quite <laughs> frankly, but then Christianity, obviously, years later. But obviously, an important symbol for all of us, or many, many of us, and it's available at on a sale price. It's absolutely brand new. Those are rock star earrings. You wear those, and honestly, you know what I would do? This sounds so bad. I'd get it at home. I'd keep the top crosses and then I'd produce two necklaces.